It's your boy Prince of Pain on Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium with the Batty Brunch Podcast. It was wonderful today. Another beautiful young lady, Shawnee, in the building. How was your experience, baby? I had a great time. It was an amazing experience. Dope, dope. Where can they follow you at again, baby? You can follow me at Nonchalant Shawnee on Facebook and Shawnee underscore Nicole on Instagram. And you ain't got to be nonchalant with us. Look, you want to be one of our baddies of the week? Hit us on the motherfucking email, popradioworldwide at gmail.com. Send us two pictures, they time, phone number, and this. This is for us, anybody. I'm talking to everybody. Hey, I'm This is for anybody. Another week of Pop Radio Worldwide Baddies Brunch Podcast. Sponsored today by Popeye's Chicken. Again, hit that North Avenue lick in L-Town. You know what it is. Uh, it's a lot going on right now in hip-hop. Uh, we had the Travis Scott um, Astro World Festival. Eight people died last night. Our hearts and uh, condolences goes out to the people that you know, were injured and, you know, lost out there in that uh, crazy-ass concert in Houston. Uh, Kanye West, in other news, has gone extra viral, uh, f- over 4 million views in 12 hours, uh, Dream Chaps interview. He went crazy. He went in there with a, with a seven-shooter and he shot, shot seven people at least. Big Sean got shot. Shot, uh... John Legend got shot. Uh, who else did he shoot, man? He shot uh, John Blaze got shot. And uh, he, he had a lot to say. So, Oh, not Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy even got shot. He talked about the whack verse he had. That's why he ain't make the cut. Uh, I want a lot of you guys to uh, right there, man, on the iHeartRadio little commentary or the Instagram, wherever you guys see this video, YouTube to make sure that you give me your thoughts, you know, on the interview. And just specifically, what did you think about, and we all heard the verse, was it a whack verse? Or uh, do we agree with Kanye West and that's why he didn't make the cut? I would like to know that. Uh, I wanna know what you guys thought about the interview in totality. You know, uh, Ye went up there and uh, had a lot a lot to say, you know. He was smoking some weed, you know, you never see Ye lay, <laughs> lay his head out and, uh, Smoke the marijuana, you know? Uh, whole different side coming out of Ye right now. Uh, I do like the fact that he is working with Drake and Jake Prince to get out Larry Hoover. Uh, Larry Hoover been locked up too long already, you know what I'm saying? What, 30 some years? Uh, so, uh, and they only have him captive because he started the GDs. Still to this day, that's why they only got him locked up. So I think that man suffered enough and went through enough to be let out. So to have positive uh, public fig- figures like that, that uh, have a say-so or, you know, Trump ties or whatever, you know, to get that man out, I think that's pretty dope. Um, we got Shani in the building, man. I'm going to need everybody to make some noise for the family. Getting a close up here. Look, come over here. Come over here for a minute, Shani. Wait here. She eating Popeye's chicken, by the way. You hear me? It's the Batty Brunch. Check this out. Could you please just give him a little wave? You know what I'm saying? Hey, give him a little buddy. 360 one time. Again, let's make some noise. <laughs> the iHeartRadio, Pop Radio Worldwide, putting on People Radio Batty of the Week. And also, we are making her, her our first. Uh, cover to the Batty Illustrated on the website. So I need everybody to not only make some noise. Uh, I'm going to take a quick little music break right now. And uh, as soon as I get back, I ain't going to play no game. We're going to talk to Shani, see what Shani uh, talking about, where she from, uh, some of her fun facts. And uh, we're going to play a little game, you feel me? 
It's your boy Prince of Pain, putting on people radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify. <laughs> Featuring B Lo and Do a Die, little remix we did to the uh, little baby joint. Uh, we back on putting on people radio, pop radio worldwide, iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium. Today we have a lovely young lady by the name of Shawnee. How you doing, sweetie? I'm doing good today. Okay, Hi. great, 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 great. You came in with good vibes. Yes. Uh, what bougie? You fucked up the chicken. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You did. <laughs> Uh, you think I get girls to be on them? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch my little figure and stuff, but uh -huh. uh -huh. you did your thing, so good vibes. Let's get off into this. Uh, where are you originally from? I'm from the west side of Chicago. West side is the best side. You understand yes. what I'm saying? I get ate up all the time for that, but oh well. Uh, what sign are you? <clears throat> I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. Happy birthday, beloved. Happy birthday. It's your birthday, huh? Thank you. It's your birthday month? Yes. Okay, your birthday just passed? Yes. I'm happy birthday. Happy. Everybody make some noise. <laughs> Scorpios are the best. You feel me? I'm a Scorpio yes. myself. Uh, it's in two weeks. I think I just named like uh, all the legends like who is a Scorpio the other day. And it's a bunch of them. From Pete Diddy to Drake to... Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Pablo Picasso, uh, and the list goes on. Uh, but we rock, so happy birthday to me too, y'all. Y'all better tune in, I'm gonna have some ladies here for my birthday segment, you hear me? That weekend, we, we gonna have, uh, we gonna get it turned up. So, uh, give us some fun facts about yourself. What you like to do, like, uh, for fun, you know? Mm -hmm. I like to go get my nails and stuff done, my feet. I like to get my hair and stuff done, my makeup from time to time. And I just like to go to the best places, like, that be on Facebook and be going viral. And I like to try places like that. And I like to travel. You like to travel. Yes. Um, don't you do hair yourself, you said? Yes, I do hair. Okay, tell us a little bit about that. I do feed-in braids. I know how to install wigs. I know how to make wigs. I know how to do dreads. I don't know what I don't know how to do. <laughs> you don't know? Okay, you a hustler, baby. Yeah. She just and I sell lashes okay. and I make lip gloss too. Dope, dope. Um, everybody tune in right now. Let everybody know where they can go uh, right now. Check you out on the visuals. Uh, on Instagram, whatever um, you got going on. My Instagram is shiny underscore Nicole. And my Facebook is Shani Nicole. My backup page is Nonchalant Shani for Facebook. Nonchalant Shani. Nonchalant Shani. Shake That's the main that page out. that y'all want to go to. Nonchalant Shani. Uh, what? So I'm gonna have a little topic discussion here, but before I do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, also let the people know what are some of the foods you like. Um, I like pasta. Pasta. Chicken. Chicken. Pizza. Pizza. I like everything. You like everything. <laughs> do, you, do you like sushi? Yes. 
No, I don't I can't like stand that stuff. Ooh, that's the only thing I don't like, but I like seafood. Oh, I love crab legs. Ooh, I love lobster tails. That's probably my favorite. But that's about it. You yeah. feel me? I don't go further and beyond. Mussels. <laughs> the what? Mussels and clams. Okay, yeah, I, don't, I never really rocked with those. But. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, give me some of your favorite fruits. You like fruits? Yes. What kind of fruits you like? Um, I like strawberries, strawberries, pineapples, pineapples, grapes, grapes, oranges, oranges, kiwi, kiwi, you and know. watermelon. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Okay, all right. Um, if you were to describe yourself, right, yes. as a snack, right, what kind of snack would you be? Don't be telling That's me strawberry that. shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could go with that. Let's make some noise. <laughs> At least she didn't say no Scooby snacks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you know, uh, okay, let's stay on the favorites right now. What's some of your favorite movies? You know, if I got one of, you know, if you want to take it to the movies, you got to know you like action, you like suspense, you like uh, comedy, you like... Uh, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, tell me what you like. I like scary movies. Scary movies. And they gotta be with killing, like, um, you know, Halloween, all that, Michael Myers, I love all that. That's my favorite, though. Halloween is my favorite. Okay. Uh, they gotta be killing somebody or something. I, I, I can dig it, I can dig it, okay. <laughs> yeah, those are fun, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay, uh, favorite actors. Give me some of your favorite actors you like. Could it be anybody like? Either? It could be anybody. Okay. Um, some of your favorite actors say. in these movies, killing these movies, or mm -hmm. some of these uh, series. Some of these series is hot as hell. Right. You know. It would have to be the character that played Joe, but I don't. Joe. Uh, and um, what is it called? It's on Netflix. It's called You I'm sorry. It's called You on Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Joe, I'm up on I that like one. All right. Character. All right. Okay. Uh, so, before we get to, uh, no, I'm going to stay right here. If a dude do take, you know, all right, y'all vibing and shit. Y'all done went to the scary movies. Y'all done hit the, you know, the lamb chops and the seafood mm -hmm. and all that already. But now it's time for him to take you to, you know, your favorite sexy fantasy day. So, could you describe that? Where you would like to go? But would that include going out to eat and stuff? Because you said we already done. What would, what would your perfect evening be of a okay. sexy fantasy day? It could include okay. dinner, yes. Um, a man pulling up with roses, taking me out to eat somewhere where I really like. Um, Don't forget the flowers, gentlemen. Yes, Don't forget the flowers. The flowers. You know, some still, ladies are still traditional. Some ladies still love flowers. Okay, love flowers. okay. what else? Um, Somewhere that I really like, like a nice view, somewhere like fancy, I always like stuff like that. And I wouldn't mind like a, a nice room after and to do what we gotta do. Right, right, Simmers or nice. something. Okay, Simmers, something. so on this date of dinner, right, what, what should his choice of a bottle be? What would you like to drink? Um, do say. Do okay. Okay, all right. Um, Let's get off into this. Uh, what are some of the deal breakers, you know, that you have? Mm. You know, that you can, you know, as a kid, you know, sw he smoke weed, you know. <laughs> just just <laughs> tell me, you know, give me a couple deal this breakers. This is going to be funny. Y'all don't laugh at me too much, okay? So let's get it going. Smoking, like, smoking blacks and cigarettes is already, like, a no for me. For sure. Not being clean. Not being a man, not doing what you're supposed to do, that's all like a turn off for me. Like, that's not gonna do you no good for me. Um, don't know how to save money. You know, in fact, that I can't trust you. What if it's ever something, a situation or something, how can I trust you? Have, your finances, I, have your finances. Yes, right. how can I trust you if I got something going on and I need you? Give me one more. So, um, one more. One more that's like, nah. Kids. Do it. Kids? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I got one, but I don't deal with my baby daddy. Like, 
at all. So it wouldn't be like baby daddy drama or nothing for me. So I don't want that. And most people come with it. So I. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, come here for a minute. Check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna give y'all real quick before I take this little music break. Um, you know, our next segment we're gonna be talking about is gonna be about what do you look for in life partners, and what do you bring to the table for a life partner. Some more Prince of Pain, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, Spotify, Free. <laughs> Everybody can't go, cause everybody ain't go. Mm-hmm. But I pray they get a second chance, cause everybody ain't go. Yeah, everybody won't go, mm-hmm. but everybody ain't so. Yeah, but I pray they get a second chance. Remember doing messed up things in my lifetime You can even say that I crossed the line Had to hop out of that dark place Even looked in the mirror Even seen a dark face at times Having fights with my old man Cause he ain't understand I had other plans Being a parent So he went through my gym bag Through my raps and the weed in the trash can Like what you doing? I hope this ain't the shit that you pursuing Cause one bad move your life is ruined I know you wanna be up in the streets Trying to enterprise But your people went your people Look him in the eyes And I ain't even know what he was talking about But now I see it Everybody can't go at you Now I really believe it Had to pull up Michael Jackson on him And tell him to beat it Heard somebody say they started orchestration Let me see it I, 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 I put myself in position Trying to make some commission while haters was politicking on another mission. I was in the kitchen doing all the dishes. All the dishes. Uh, no, family ain't family slow. Ain't Just slow. had to realize that everybody can't go. Uh. Cause everybody ain't go. Mm-hmm. But I pray they get a second chance. Cause everybody ain't no. Yeah, everybody won't go. Mm-hmm. Everybody ain't All about my damn self Thinking the ways of the world How long would it be for my cars get down Racing back and forth Loading my sword This I couldn't even avoid I threw a motherfucking fit I'm sick and I feel like I'm being ignored Damn, hope I don't do no shit It's gotta be an easy way than this But I'm still feeling miserable And somebody better get the hit in here quick Ooh, all the doors is closed It's dark outside, my mind is slow Fall to my knees trying to beg to the Lord Kick off my tattoo cause I was too bored Throw me a note trying to get it rich Tell all the brothers I'm coming Sister over here today, where we chilling, you know. She just woke up and looked like a little larger because this is what we do. We have the Batty Podcast, you know. Have a little Popeye's chick, you know. Sometimes we switch it up, and have something else, but we talk about real stuff, and I try to give the lamers some game. You know what I'm saying? A little bit so you know how to approach some of these females, man. You know. So, can we talk about that, honey? Let's talk about. Uh, what you look for in life partners, you know, and somebody, you know, you, you really can see yourself, you know, having around your shoulder. You see you got a baby, right? Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. You know, so that's a ram. You know, the Monday, the Monday through the Friday guy, not the right. you know Saturday or the, the Saturday dude at night. You feel me? <laughs> you know how it would be. You know, you, you got somebody. You you know how you might. You don't even see her kids. You don't know mama. You don't know her brother's name. You know, but you check her out on Saturday night. You feel me? But then you have them ones that's. You know, you go over to the mall, pay bills, and you know. So, what are some of these, uh, what do you look for in them? What are some of these quali qualities that some of these people need at least to possess, you know? Right. Okay. So, it would be someone who is loving, caring, someone who makes me feel safe, someone who's financially stable, someone who's, who's loving and caring with kids. Like, for real, that's a big, that's a big deal for me because... I wouldn't care how good we are if it's not working out with my. It's family. a lot of funny business it stuff going be, on with kids. It would be it. Yes, no, I get it. I get hard. it. I get it totally. But what yeah. else? Uh -huh. You know, what does this person the have to do? Okay, let's 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 elaborate a little bit, right? You mm -hmm. said uh, you want to feel loved, right? Right. Uh, you want to feel safe, right? How could a man make you uh, feel safe and love? Could you, you know, some of these guys, you got to break it down to them a little bit. Okay. You feel me? Right, okay. Let's get it. So it would be like whenever I call or, you know, you call, you answer anytime or like even if it's 10 minutes later and you get back, like get back to me, make sure I'm okay, loving, make sure. I just want to feel like I'm the only one that's important to you, like as far as females, because I know some guys you haven't female friends and stuff, but you're supposed to always make them feel special and love and make sure no one, you're not putting no one before them and making sure they're always okay because you never know how they could feel about anything. Consistency, folks. Yes. You got to be consistent. Um, of course, she says she wants, you know, to be able to express herself to you. You know what I'm saying? You got to have them pockets, right? She says you can't be taking care of your motherfucking ass. <laughs> you got to be, you know, someone that is okay in the head that as she feels safe, not only as you as a protector, but bring her shorty around. Um, anything else? That's pretty much it. Pretty much it, okay. Um, be a positive person too, right? Yes. Yeah, be, be you know, don't be no scum bucket. Exactly, know? that's also important. Yeah. Now, what do you bring to the table? You know, when, you know, you know, uh, this man is, you know, all of these motherfucking things, plus some, you know what I'm saying? You done hit the motherfucking buzzard on the motherfucker, you feel me? This Prince Charming here, you know? What do you bring to the table, Prince Charming? I can bring everything that I want. Like, you know, not, not only like materialistically, <clears throat> But like being there for somebody, like you know how guys don't like to open up, but like I would like for that to, to happen. Like, open up and let's talk and let's see what we could do to fix things. Like I'm all about that. So it's more than just buying. Yeah, somebody can buy for me, I can buy for them. That's nothing. But it's more than that. It's more about loving and being able to express yourself and communication, all of that. You bring friendship? Friendship. But to be honest, I would like to be best friends first and then relationship after. So that's how I like to do it. Do you bring consistency? Yes, consistency. Positivity? Positivity. Motivation. And you're that one uh, Prince Charming yes. can express himself to on them days of dire need of expression. Yes. Dope. Uh, again, make some noise for our <laughs> What else uh, do you bring to the table? I know you. You know you gotta. You have, you gotta have a little bit more because you look like you just. I bring a lot fun. of fun. You look fun. <laughs> I like to have fun, like going on a lot of dates, going everywhere, like everywhere that you see on Facebook. Like I was saying, traveling the world, every place that. That we can go to that's fun. It's like an adventure. I like going on adventures. You say you like to travel, right? Yeah. Tell us some of the places you've been to. I've been to New Orleans. New Orleans. It was really nice. I visited Bourbon Street, and that's like the long strip. They had bars, clubs, 
different places where you could go get drinks from. Nice. And it's just a lot of people out there turning up. So it's, it was really fun. Nice. Great experience. Um, let's switch it up. What's some of your favorite music you like? What genre of music do you really listen to when you um, get up in the morning and you know you want to get your day started or you jump in the whip and what's what's some of the kind of first you know what can we hear you listen to? Hip hop. Hip hop. Okay, yes. dope. So, what's some of your most influential hip hop artists that you like? I like NBA YoungBoy. Okay. I like Moneybag Yo. Moneybag Yo. Um, I like um, Nicki Minaj. Nicki. Right now. Um, uh, I can't even think about it right now. Okay, okay. Uh, you like music yourself? I mean, do you do music yes. yourself? Do you do music yourself at all? Yes, I be rapping sometimes. Yeah. Yes, when I don't make me put your ass on the spot. Wait. No, look, when yeah, I don't make me put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you can give me some bars right now. Oh no. Oh no. Man, the last few girls at RJ Oliver brought them, we had bars for us. They, they had bars. They had bars. Oh, Jada, salute to Jada J. She had bars. Uh, what's the other sister? That's some, uh, well, anyways, we've had some sisters yet. Right. Jada J. See, just I can, but I don't, I don't feel like I take it serious enough. But when I do, it'd it be decent. You got some bars for me? But I don't got no bars. Do you got no more bars for me right now? Okay. It's all good. Nope. Uh, I started something, but it's not really long enough to even. Dope, dope, dope. So you do modeling? Yes, I love to take pictures. You love to take pictures. Yes. If somebody wanted to book you for a project, you got an email that you do that directly on? Yes. LloydShawnee29 at gmail.com. Okay. And let's uh, stay on this uh, hair stuff. If, is that the same email you do all your booking through, or do you have a different? Um, and do you have a website so people can check yes, out some of your have, work? Yes, I have a website. It's through Booksy. And then you can also find me on my Facebook page, Nonchalant Shani. My link is there as well. That's pretty big nowadays. The hair stuff. Yes. That's pretty big now. And the nails. Everybody needs their hair done. Who does your nails? And their kids. Um, this girl, she's staying in the hundreds. Okay. Always. Wow, wow. <laughs> she okay. does a good job. Okay. Well, listen, man. Uh, I do want you guys to, you know, stay connected. Uh, DJ Ferris said last night that he predicts a Kanye Drake project. What do you think about that? You think that's that's in that's in the works? Yes. Yeah. I like it. That would be probably one of the biggest. Selling it's projects yes. and the most streamed projects in the world. Wow. Um, I'm glad they are communicating through Jay Prince working on the Hoover Project. Um, it's your boy, man, here at uh, Pop Radio Worldwide. It's been another lovely week of uh, Batty Brunch. I got Shani in the building. Uh, Shani, send some shout outs. Anybody you want to send some shout outs to? Shout out to all my family and my friends. I love all y'all. There you have it. Again, tell them where to follow you at on all social media platforms. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Nonchalant Shiny. You can follow me on Instagram at Shiny Nicole. You can also follow me on Snapchat at Adorable underscore Shiny. <laughs> Feel some, your body feels some. Then I go fuck them up. I 
I'm breaking pain with the drama they calling your mama And to the kids what you need you disrespect my honor And I ain't the one you wanna be bothering with you get this shit split bitch real quick Motherfuck them all I said it once before bitch and I say it again And I'm a gangster but my niggas they rap with the fiend We united in this family we do nothing but win So motherfucker opposition this is killer season I rain bullets on a nigga just give me a reason So much hatred in my heart I stop niggas from breathing I really mean what I say cause you niggas some leeches And these bitches some leeches This is the killer season I rain bullets on a nigga just give me a reason So much hatred in my heart I stop niggas from breathing I really mean what I say cause you niggas some leeches And these bitches some leeches This is the killer season I rain bullets on a nigga just give me a reason So much hatred in my heart I stop niggas from breathing I really mean what I say cause you niggas some leeches And these bitches some leeches This is the killer season